Welcome back to Survival 101. Today I will show you guys how to plant uh, some potatoes and a uh, watermelon. They're right over here actually. I got these from the nursery when I went with my friend to fix up the garden if you saw in the previous video. So we got here like a potato, looks like. We got here a celery, looks like right here. We got ourselves here a new watermelon and a what does it say? A uh, potato, and you can see the potatoes in there. So even if it dies, I can still harvest. <laughs> and this is a I got this. It's pretty cool actually. It's a tomato lemon boy. That's gonna be really exciting to a girl. Can't wait. And here are my green beans real quick that germinated under the pot. And under the deck, so they're doing good. And I'll give a garden update when I'm done. Right here, we got some three bags. Each bag is two cubic feet, so six cubic feet in total. And um, and we what we got here on the top is a uh, some some sand. And the reason I got this little pack of sand is for my potatoes. So when you grow potatoes, a good way to grow them is to um, make a hole and mix up uh, in that in that particular hole, put some like some um, some sand in there. Um, that's that's what I do every year, and it works out for me. The reason you put sand in there somehow it helps the potatoes grow better or with the moisture, something like that. So, try that out again. Here we got some nice fresh mulch. Well, I, when I went to the nursery or the warehouse that sells uh, garden stuff like rock dust and compost and crap like that, I got the cheapest mulch I could find. This was a two. Two forty-eight, two thousand forty-eight cents. It's pink bark, pink bark mulch. Um, the reason I got this is uh, because we're having problems with uh, drainage in the garden, also uh, weeds are starting to get out of hand, so we gotta do something with that. Um, basically, what I did is uh, I got this mulch for three reasons. Number one is when it rains in the middle, there's a big puddle. That will kill the plants, so we got to fix that problem. Second, are the weeds, and thirdly, uh, this keeps uh, when there's hot days and I forget to water or gotta do something. The mulch actually keeps humidity and moisture in the grounds, so it's it's gonna keep the plants nice and wet underneath when it's a hot day. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is basically plant my tomatoes and my. Uh, the rest of my crap that's right over there so uh, when I'm done I'll show you guys what I did alright now I'm super tired I've been out here for uh, let's see now um, one, two, three hours I've been out here for three hours I'm exhausted from bending over my back hurts a little bit I'm gonna go take a nice hot shower when I'm done here um, basically, what we did is we planted our two potatoes, our one uh, lemon boy uh, tomato, and our um, watermelon in the back. Um, we also had the mulch and some sand to the potatoes. You can see, you can see three lamps. One, two, three. Um, these are Christmas lights. I put them outside in the front yard on Christmas this year, but I figured, oh, what the heck, I don't need them anymore. So, I put them here for, uh, for two reasons. Number one is, my theory is that when rabbits see, like, not too bright light, like light, you know what I'm saying, like different color lights, they get, they get scared and they run away or don't come near. And I haven't seen a rabbit yet. And second is... It makes uh, a little bit not. It's not. They're not bright. They're just like my nice, my relaxing lights. 
It's like late yesterday at a dinner out here. I brought my little table out here, ate my spaghetti. Just like watching my garden. Listen to the birds and the woods. And um and they also and they also give me light so at night time like around like I wake up like every every day like at twelve o'clock at night to go get a drink of water or something. I just like look at the garden and I can see there's a rabbit in there. So far I haven't seen not even one. So he's getting lucky now. Um I guess I'll give you guys a garden update too when I'm at it, so I'm too lazy to get up. <laughs> right here is our Right here is our dill. Get the mulch out of here. I also added the mulch. Our dill. There's a, one of our potato plants. Another one's right over there next to the tomato. Another little bit of a little squash in there, but they're fine. They're hanging there. So yeah. dill, potato, potato. This is our beefsteak tomato. You can see we got nice, lovely tomatoes right there. Nice. And it's it's about four feet. Here's our cilantro. It's exploded. Um, we gotta harvest it pretty soon. Here's another different variety of beef steak tomato. Um, this guy has also e exploded with all these tomatoes. Here's a rosemary. I'll try this week. I'll try to make a video how to harvest and eat your rosemary. So that'd be pretty cool. You get you should guys look forward to that. Um, if we start work waking our and that's oregano. Here we got our uh, a bell pepper. With a flower in there, another bell pepper in there, another bell pepper in here, and as you can see, we got ourselves a nice little pepper right there. And then also all these blossoms from yeah, here. Here's our oregano. Here's our beans coming up really nicely. We got our uh, mulch down. Here's our carrots right down the row. Here's the watermelon I planted today. Here are the squash, 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 and squash. Um, this watermelon is an excess watermelon. Just give it to my neighbor. Be a nice guy. Go give it to my free watermelon. Right here is our uh, hot pepper, bell pepper, and you can see our bell peppers also having. Lots of tom lots and lots of peppers. Uh, there's another bell pepper, another bell pepper. Uh, that's a cucumber, 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 and cucumber. Here's our uh, lemon boy tomato. Gotta put a cage over that. I'll do that when I'm done the video. Here's our beefsteak tomato, and there's another beefsteak tomato with all these blossoms. And here's our, um, Or celery. Pretty soon I'll harvest this. Not all of it, but just the leaves. There it is. You gotta go on YouTube and check how you do that. But then I'm going to Saturday before, so I love growing new stuff. So this will be a a nice way to know, I guess. So here it is. Here's the garden. That was a fairly quick garden update. Hope I didn't miss anything. If we come over here, we got our uh, cucumber and our cucumber. If you remember, on the I made a separate video about this. If you remember how small this was, now look how big it is. Grew up this nice big fence here. That's just in the garden with some small. If you come over here, we got ourselves our little raised bed here I made a couple days ago. And take a look, our green beans have germinated. So, same with our carrots, as you can see right there. So, that's it. And if you saw my other video, my friend, he, uh, he, he has a nice garden too, but mine's better. Don't tell him that. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just, Messing around with you. Alright, so this is it. Everything really looks here. Try to climb up this fence so you can see. Everything looks real nice. 
Way better than last year, of course. Last year I only made one video. Tomorrow I'm going fishing, so I'm trying to make a video about fishing, so be pretty cool. So hey, have a good weekend now. Stay out of trouble, bad boys. I'm just kidding. Alright, have a good day.